not that funny today, folks. <laughs> yeah, uh, I had some trials and tribulations with my mule, and I just, uh, well, just in case somebody endeavors <laughs> into, okay, I got a carb kit here. That's number one. And then I got another one that was uh, guaranteed to fit. It was uh, made in China. <laughs> it's in this little envelope. And uh, it came... Anyways, <clears throat> I'm going to describe to you the problem. Uh, what we're talking about here, I'm going to show you. And... Uh, <coughs> I'm going to show you, hang on, I'll take his off of here. Maybe a rough ride there. Uh, right here. These, see these two carburetors here? That guy and that guy. Well, you remember I was at the workbench one time and uh, I was endeavoring into... I said that I was going to rebuild them and I was all enthused. And uh, these are uh, Kahin, Kahin CVK carburetors. CVK carburetor. Okay, hang on. I <laughs> just turned around. This, this here right there, that's a nidal screw extension. Uh, the starter's in the way, right under here, <clears throat> hang on, right under here, right in front, uh, I can touch it, I can touch the orifice on this side, you'd reach it from underneath this side here, well, you'd have to get by the muffler and everything else. Okay, but I'm gonna tell you a little, little story now. <laughs> I got the carb kits, and uh, hang on, we're gonna set this up here, and then <laughs> and we're gonna set this up, and uh, I'm gonna tell you the story. <laughs> yeah, I had the. <laughs> Uh, it wasn't running good, okay, the mule, but uh, now we're talking, we're going back uh, two, three years, stumbling sometimes, depends on the weather and the, <laughs> I was going to say the altitude, <laughs> maybe my attitude, <laughs> but uh, it wasn't running the best, eh? so I decided I got to rebuild the carbs, eh? clean them and rebuild them. And uh, so I bought a, first I bought a kit. I took it apart. And uh, ah, that's more than two years ago because I was still buying that gas with the alcohol in it. <laughs> so I remember when I took that apart, the, uh, this carb is a, a vacuum. What, what, hang on, vacuum? Assist. <laughs> no, it's not. A, there's two slides in there, okay. And as you're throttling up, the slides open up with the vacuum, and uh, it lets more gas in. And uh, well, there's two diaphragms in on the upper part of the the carburetor. And uh, as soon as I opened it up, uh, that alcohol got in there and it swole up those diaphragms and the diaphragms didn't fit right anymore. I had a hard time. Uh, I think one of them was leaking and squashed and leaking but I didn't know then when I had put it back together and uh, <clears throat> I didn't fix the problem. I didn't find the problem until the second time which is a few days ago when I Took it all apart again. I had got a new set, a new gasket set for the, uh, with the two diaphragms in it. And, uh, okay, I'm telling you this 
so that you can learn. And this is one of the advantages, okay, with with uh, the internet and uh, YouTube, is people can learn from other people's mistake. Now this this is not a simple thing, and uh, I taught I knew a lot about carburetors. Eh? And the first time I took it, <clears throat> okay, well there's those screws underneath, eh, and you can't get to those screws. I'm gonna show you. I had uh, made a tool. You see this? Hang on. See this then in the end? You turn this handle. This is a spring inside here. I braised that all. This is a, I don't know, 3 8 pipe, not even. I don't know where I got that. It's a fitting that I drove on there. And that, that end fits right on the carb. And then I can turn the screw underneath. So I don't have to get my. You can't get a screwdriver in that screw. I thought that was an air screw, okay? Mr. Know-it-all, eh? <laughs> Four year, but it's not an air screw. It's a, uh, for those of you, it's a, uh, and I know Hondas even have these carbs. But anyways, <laughs> I know Harley Davidson have these carbs. I know that. And uh, so I had built myself a tool. Wow, yeah. <laughs> what happened is I put that under there and then this thing here would slip off the, slip off the screw and it get half turn and then I'd get lost, eh? Like one and a, and a quarter turn and then I, would, I didn't know where I was. So I didn't think this was too good, eh? So, <clears throat> Hang on, I got, uh, here we go. Now, I decided, I think I paid around, I don't know, I was gonna say 60 bucks, see? It, but really this, this here resembles a lot the one I made. The only difference is, is that this is, uh, hang on, a lot longer. <laughs> See, it's a lot longer than the one I made. It's that long. And being so long and everything, well, you got to hold it. See, if the handle would have been here, I would have held it in place and then I turned the handle. But still, <clears throat> you you kind of lose traction on the screw and you, because you're counting turns, okay? Remember the one turn and a half? Well, <laughs> that's where the, <laughs> there was some, uh, okay, <laughs> the problem was twofold. <laughs> there was still some crap in, in the ventries, in the car, okay, that I, I had the, I was going to say I misplaced them. I didn't misplace them, it's just I did the, maybe not a good a job as I should cleaning the carb. I was in a hurry, eh? <laughs> and I was sure all it was was the screws that weren't adjusted, okay? And when I took it apart the first time, because it, it didn't run that bad, eh? But I said that I got new carbs, a uh, new carb kit, so I'm going to rebuild it. When I took those needles out, never counted the turns. Oh, <laughs> I know. Hey, this guy taken apart a lot of cars before, and uh, he's, the base is a turn and a half. Start there, and you play around there. First of all, the screwdrivers play around there. If you don't know where you are, it's hard to play around there. And okay, the cr the cruncher, the clincher, those screwdrivers didn't work. Okay. So about well, two, two, two days ago, I resolved I'm gonna take the carbs off, bring them in on the table, on the table, eh? Well, I, you know I really want to see my carburetor table here. Yeah, well, you seen it the last time I did carburetors. 
Well, hang on. I'll give you a, I'll give you a gander. Hey, eh? my carburetor, my carburetor table. Hey, eh? can you see on top? See, there's not much on my carburetor table. Hey, eh? anyways. Uh, so, uh, hang on. I gotta put this back where it was. Oh yeah. I gotta put myself back where I was. Oh, uh, where was I? <laughs> okay. Now the carburetor, I resolved, I'm gonna take them apart, take them off, okay? Bring them here, adjust. I started at a turn and a half, and I, uh, I closed them. Uh, I changed, I, I closed them and I opened them up a turn and a half. It was no good, there's a big hill not too far. Well, even just a hill leaving my property here. Could hardly make it up that hill. Uh, there's videos on. I went upstairs. I look at the videos, eh? The carburetors and because this, what they call this screw is a pilot jet. There's some pilot jets that are for air, and there's pilot jets for fuel. Now on these KN CVK carburetors the pilot jet on there is for fuel so as I'm going up the hill like on a steep hill uh, straight hey, it goes and it's like a bat out of hell <laughs> but on uh, as soon as I start to climb it's got it it just falls flat on its face hey, so, uh, what am I doing here? So I started off, I I went one and a half turns, then I changed the screws, brand new screws, okay, different. The seals, uh, I put them in there. Then I back off, uh, one and a, like, every time I'm putting it on, trying it out. And I had read, okay, that, uh, <laughs> I had read that uh, one of the symptoms is it's heart, heart starting, okay? So what I got around two, two and a quarter, I noticed that it was easier starting. And it was, uh, I was getting more RPM as I got to that. So I had to back off the RPM and it was easier to start. I'm at two and a quarter turn. Uh, I'm not showing you, it's because uh, I could take that off, okay? I'm not taking it off. I'm going to take it off next spring, because this winter I'm going to buy you something, and we're going to try it next spring. But the problem is solved for now. I can go up any hill, and she climbs. I tried it this morning. I put a full load of uh, <laughs> firewood in the box at the back, and I went up the big hill, and she went up down the other side, and back up and back here, and no problem, she pulls. Uh, I must have taken that carburetor off at least 20, maybe 25 times. You know how far off I'm backed up on the screw? Now, forget about you know, like what you know about normal carburetors, <laughs> these are uh, vacuum uh, slide uh, carburetors. Eh? Those screws, <laughs> those screws on the carburetors are backed out three turns. That's where I got them. I couldn't muck around still with them. Eh? I don't want to, I'm tired. <laughs> Let's say uh, uh, time's uh, uh, passing by quick, eh? And uh, I could show you, but I can see from here the uh, leaves are on the ground and uh, <laughs> the weather's turning, eh? And it's not that bad in here, eh, really. I get, and uh, the door's open. I'm in the basement right now, but uh, uh, it's gonna come. <laughs> I just wanna say. Uh, yeah, KN CVK 
and a lot of these uh, carbs there, they're, uh, <laughs> you muck around with them, pay attention when you take them apart. <laughs> it's not your normal turn and a half out. It's uh, around three turns and maybe more. Uh, I, I know it starts better. I'll climb, but I don't have that. I, I went past the high RPM and I, it came back down. I had to pump the RPM more. But next spring, <laughs> there'll be another. There was, I think, two videos before this one. Before I got to the problem, there'll be another one next spring. I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you now. But I'm not ordering it now, because I gotta, <laughs> hang on, I'll take you. I brought my famous, uh, see here we at the camp there, we're limited, eh? <laughs> we're limited to the computer, hang on, I'm gonna turn this on here, you gotta look at the mule, you guys can look at the mule while I'm, punching in my password. See? What a, yeah. Right there. KN CVK carburetor. They're, uh, okay, whoa. Hang on, maybe I can, whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, what's, what's, what's this guy doing? Yeah, vacuum slide. That's what they call them. Well, that's not what I want to show you guys. I want to show you. Yeah, this here. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What's this? There. Motorcycle. Oh, see that? Motorcycle air fuel mixture screw carburetor. But, okay, it's for F's. It's for a K in carburetor, but FCR and a, and there's a few of these, eh? Hang on. Uh, uh, anyways, uh, there's a few of these. So I gotta, I gotta get the right one for the carb. <laughs> because if I don't get the right one, <laughs> I, ain't, I need two. Okay, not one but two. So, so I'm looking maybe 30 bucks. It's not a big investment, but I don't feel like playing around right now. I had too much trouble <laughs> fixing this. <laughs> yeah, here I'm up right now, so I'll show you I'll show you where we are with the leaves here, eh? See that? Yeah. Leaves are on the ground all over the place. Weather is kind of covered right now, but uh, that's it. Now I just I thought I'd make this video to show you if you don't pay attention and you think you know it all, <laughs> what can happen? And plus, if uh, you any of you have these vacuum slide carburetors, well, it's not a turn and a half. Forget that one. Remember that turn and a half that we always think about? Whoa, there's an awful glare in there, eh? Um, yeah, it's not a turn and a half. It's, well, that one there. You count the turns, that's the best way. Uh, it's three turns for me anyways. And that's a base. I started that. I could muck around with it, but I gotta take them off, take it off, bring it to my bench. And then you yeah, start all over again all the time. Okay, so that's it, folks. Uh, I'm tired. <laughs> but I went for a ride and that works all right. So that's it. That's that's very relieving to know that much. <coughs> okay, folks. As usual, comments are welcome. And if you guys have gone through this, well, you should have told me before. <laughs> comments are welcome. And uh, if you're not subscribed, well, you can, you know. And uh, as usual, we'll see you in the next one. <laughs>